Hi everybody, I'm Jen Gagney from Pixelscapes.com. I am drawing and painting my way through the Dungeons & Dragons Monster Manual. And for you tonight, I have this Archmage. Now he is actually a sequel to the original mage. Here he is when he's young and brash and pops his collar. Uh, and when he's older, that's what he's going to look like. So, first things first, I have this sped up drawing video for you. Here we go. So I use this photo of someone holding a cookbook as a starting point just for the hand pose. Um, and then the amulet, of course, is the same one he had when he was young. So I just copied that in. Got to get some fancy brackets on that book. Shaggy hair. Twirls magic. I'll call back to the original, of course. And then I lay my real lines in. Big ol' smile, because it's me. Gold, my robe. There we go. Little crinkles on the face and the hands. I love how completely unrealistic the face is, and yet the hands are crinkly enough to be like... A little realistic. I think it's just a, a bit creepy, maybe. I like it. And of course, an Ioun stone of intellect. And magical twirls and dots. Okay, great. So now here's my painting video. And I've got that sped up for you too. So again, I'm looking at the original and I went and got the amulet. There it is. And then I'm going to 3D render the gold texture that I need. There it is. So it'll kind of match and get some color in on this robe. And then I put a divider on the shoulder because that way I can select the sleeve and the body separately for shading. There we go. I didn't want it to just be purple, so I laid in a little bit of a lighter sort of pinkish purple and then a wavy fabric texture. Um, which was also there in the original. There we go. Let's see. Now I'm going to start coloring his skin, which was red and yellow in the original. So I'm going to make it red and yellow here. There we go. And then his hair was blue originally when he was young. So I'm going to make it, you know, blue on the edges, but mostly white. Because he's old. And I fuss with this for a while because I don't want it to just be white. I put a little more blue back in there just so that his smile has a little contrast. And underneath his eyebrows. There we go. Now his eyes are two different colors. Again, that's just like the original. Um, the person who originally requested this drawing um, asked me to do that, probably because of a character of theirs. So I said, sure, why not? All right, blue book. Pop the spine back up to brightness. There we go. And then this ribbon. I started with purple, but I think I ended up making it blue later. There we go. Well, we're going to get the, the inside and outside token rings. My paintbrush strokes. Always a favorite of mine. There we go. That's when I realized I, I had to change the ribbon because it blends too much otherwise. There we go. And there's the iron stone. And I give it a little more shading. I thought about putting this glow around it, but it didn't look right to me, so I ended up deleting it. There we go. One of these days I'll get through one of these videos without saying, there we go. But today is not that day. Sorry. 
Let's see, adding some shading. There we go. I said it again. God damn. All right. Little shadow from the stone. Making my background black, which I always love. The ribbon. Doing some line color. The edges of the book. The robe. Pages. I love the colored lines because it really helps differentiate parts. I think I spent a while working on his hair. I'm looking for kind of rounded lines, so that's what I eventually ended up doing. Oh, and I added a shadow underneath his beard. Just to make it pop a little more. There we go, that's how I round off my lines. Kind of like toothpaste. <laughs> yeah. Alright, and then there's the iron stone again. The orbiting mark for the iron stone. And then I do my token edge colors. And then my magic. What am I going to do with the magic? So I wanted it to be like sort of a contrast to the existing colors with the dots. But then the actual magic, I just have shades of blue. Like blue and cyan. There we go. And that's the end. So thank you so much for watching. Um, I really appreciate it. Please do like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and if you'd like to see more of my artwork or my monsters, you can drop by pixelscapes.com. I'm also at pixelscapes on Twitter. So thanks again and see you next time. Bye.